What's going on, everybody? This is not a drill. This is real life. This is a real simulation. The Wizards have won a basketball game. Congratulations. Now, granted, it's the Knicks, who they should be, but it's a stepping stone. It's a, it's a start. You know, it's, it's momentum, momentum to build on. They got the Mavericks next. You know, everybody know we always lose when we play the Mavericks. So I don't know about that game. But let's not focus on that right now. Let's focus on the win after so much losing. This game, you can tell they were focused defensively. They really tuned in defensively. As you can see by the final score, the Knicks ain't have 150 points. They really locked up um, late fourth quarter. They played some great late game defense. The Knicks missed a lot of shots for a pretty long time. And the Wizards, John Wall and Dwight Howard got in the pick and roll. And then the Knicks could do nothing but foul. It was good late game execution. Something that is a rarity when it comes to the Wizards. But it's good to see for once good defense and good offense. You know, with the pick and roll, etc. To get the win. No, no stress, no, no heartaches or, you know, high blood pressure at the end of the game. You know, you got a minute of Troy Brown and all the other guys. So that's good. Um, John Wall, he played a pretty good game today. Bradley Bill played a pretty good game as well. Um, they seem both tuned in on the defensive side of the balls. And, and this is what I like. They, they show effort. They... Continuous effort. Now, the Knicks got back in the game at certain points, but that's okay. The Wizards got it back, they brought it back, and they took over, which is what you would like to see. That that shows me that they haven't given up on Scott Brooks. Even though it may have seemed like that, they, they are still fighting. You know, they they aren't completely giving up. This is a, this is a stepping stone. Now we're going to see how they come out next week. I mean, I said next week. Next game. And we're going to see what they do. But for right now, good team defense. Um, they ended the game off with Wall, Bill, Rivers, Jeff Green, and Dwight Howard. That lineup, they was playing lockup defense. Like I said, granted it was the Knicks, but still. And um, I think it was Tim Hardaway got hurt. So they was lacking their lead score as well. But that's besides the point. That's, that's what you want to see. A team lacking their leading score, etc. Because you know the Wizards will still find a way to have somebody go off on them. So that's good that they held a bad team to a low amount of points and they won the game. You know, that, that's good to see. Because it is not a sure thing with the Wizards. And we know this. And this is what they have to do. Now they don't have, you know, a strong schedule for the month of November. They're... They, they have a very favorable schedule this month, unlike October. That was uh, some decent competition. So we gonna see what this team is really about. Dwight Howard, 10 and 10. That's good to see. Um, Jason Smith got in the game at the, I, I don't honestly don't know why. Um, especially he, came, he got in at the fourth quarter. It's kind of odd when you play a guy that you're not forced to play, but you play a guy who hasn't played the whole game and you put him in in the fourth quarter. And at this time, the game was still relatively close. So that was a little weird to me. Austin Rivers didn't really do anything offensively, but defensively, he locked in. Jeff Green locked in on defense. Offensively, he wasn't really hitting like that, but at the end of the day, they played as a unit. They played as a unit. They play like they have chemistry. They play like they wanted to be there. And that's all Wizards fans want to see. You know, Kelly Oubre had a, played, a good, um, played a good game, filling in for Otto Porter, who's hurt with an injured toe. So shout out to Kelly Oubre. He brought some energy. He brought that defensive effort as well. Um, no all bench lineups. I hope Scott Brooks is completely done with that. As we seen in the last game against the Thunder in the second quarter, when we had the all bench unit in, that's when it turned to crap. Scott Brooks said he's kind of lighting the tone on all benches, all bench units, and that's good to see. But all in all, this is one game out of a not too tough schedule for the month of November. First game, 
against a lower quality opponent. The Mavericks aren't going to be you no know, no cakewalk. They got Jordan, they got Doncic, they got um, Smith. You know, they got players. So they, they got to come out and play. Or they're going to get blown out. So we're going to see what the Wizards do against the Mavericks next game. But congratulations, Wizards. You played as a team. You played team defense. You gave consistent effort, and you didn't give up when the game got close. Congratulations. I'm out.